we wrote this piece because the most common question we get asked is, can you do UDL without technology? And so we thought it was important for us to explore it a little bit more in depth and consider it on our own. At first, you think the role of Universal Design for Learning is to make things easier. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that this really helped us clarify was that a lot of times that's not the goal at all. The goal is the pedagogy, is to teach kids things. And kids need to learn to do some hard things. And the guidelines actually press for that. And I think this article was a really good test for the UDL guidelines too because I think we've been developing the guidelines just thinking about what's effective teaching and what's good for learners, not really thinking about are the guidelines about technology or not technology and now we can really apply them and, and look closely at them and see mm -hmm. if they're about technology or not. Mm -hmm. By doing this we realized that the principles and the guidelines were the key piece and technology was just uh, the way in which you can effectuate that it made us rethink a lot about what learning in a classroom really looks like. So it was actually a very valuable exercise for us. Our example is from early elementary, but the question I get often is, can the principles be used um, at, a, at different grade levels? And I believe that the broader principles can be applied at any grade level and in any kind of educational environment. So we hope you enjoy the piece and we welcome any feedback that you might have.